Okay, so once again, good morning. Our topic for to tour for today, a continuation is the forecasting. Okay, so of course, <clears throat> there are certain cases. Uh, most of the time, actually, we compared budgeting and forecasting. No, one thing that is definitely true is that budgeting and forecasting are both tools that help business plan for their future. So, however, that the two are distinctly different in many ways. Okay. <clears throat> now, business choose between two basic methods when they want to predict no, what can possibly happen in the future. Of course, namely the qualitative and quantitative methods no, when it comes to forecasting. <clears throat> so the qualitative methods of forecasting, otherwise known as judgmental method, no, a qualitative forecasting offers subjective results as it is comprised of personal judgment <clears throat> by expert of forecasters. <clears throat> Forecasts are open bias no? because they are based on the, on the expert's knowledge, intuition, and experience, and rarely on data, making the process non-mathematical. <clears throat> so actually, one example is when a person forecasts the outcome of the finals game in the PBA, which of course is based more on personal motivation and interest. So the weakness of such method is that it can be inaccurate. <clears throat> The other one, of course, is the quantitative method. No? The quantitative method of forecasting is mathematical process, making it consistent and objective. It steers away from, bas or pr from basing the results on opinion and, its and intuition. Instead, they are utilizing large amount of data and figures that are interpreted. Okay? So to discuss with us the details about uh, forecasting, let us all welcome Madam Agnes. Take it away, ma'am. Magpe-play na po ba? Hello po, sir. Walang sound. Hello, good day. I am Reina Lynn Bacobe Agnes and I will be the reporter in Forecasting and Operations Management. So why forecasting? Uh, forecasting lays a ground for reducing the risk in all decision making because many of the decisions need to be made under uncertainty. In business applications, Forecasting serves as a starting point of major decision in finance, marketing, productions, and purchasing. So these are the elements of a good forecast. Should be timely, reliable, accurate, meaningful, retained, and easy to use. So these are the steps in forecasting process. First step is to determine the purpose of the forecast. Step 2, establish a time horizon. Step 3, select a forecasting technique. Step 4, gather and analyze data. Step 5, prepare the forecast. And lastly, monitor the forecast. So these are the forecast categories. We have two types, the qualitative and the quantitative. Executive Opinion, Salesforce Survey, Delphi Method, and Consumer Survey. For the quantitative, we have Time Series Method and Associated Cost Causal Method. So, forecast categories. These are the time horizon. First, we have the long term. For duration of 3 to 5 years or more on annual basis. So, we are forecasting our business and operations. So, we use long term. Tingnan natin kung tatagal ba tayo sa operation. Kaya we have this long term duration or horizon. Next is the medium term which is used for duration for up to 3 years usually on quarterly or monthly basis. So we have forecasted our operations in quarterly or monthly basis. And lastly the short term. This is the duration or up to 1 year. Usually less than 3 months on daily or weekly. So we're forecasting our sales or operations in our organization using the short term. Okay. 
So, we have this approach in forecasting. The qualitative is the method consists mainly of subjective, subjective inputs which often defy precise numerical description. It involved either the projection of historical data or the development of associative models that attempt to utilize causal explanatory variables to make a forecast. So, yun po. So, we base our forecast within the historical data or we rely on data most of the time. Last, next is quantitative that is consists mainly of analyzing objective or hard data. So, ito yung mahihirap na pong data. They usually avoid personal biases that sometimes contaminate qualitative methods. In practice, either approach or a combination of both approaches might be used to develop a forecast. So, pwede naman po silang parehas ganitin. So, we have this type of forecast. First, we have the judgmental forecast uses subjective inputs. The time series forecast uses historical data, assuming the future will be like the past. And the associated models uses explanatory variables to predict the future. So, judgmental, ito po yung nangyayari ngayon. The time series, okay, we look forward uh, assuming that the future so, tinitingnan natin, kunwari na yung bukas, eh, kagaya pa rin yung beta natin kahapon. The associative models, which we have, we were predicting the future. So, we see our operations, our organization, 3 to 5 years from now, is constantly and stable in organization, uh, in operations. So, the judgmental forecast, executive opinion, sales force opinion, the consumer survey, outside opinion, and the Delphi methods, which includes opinion of manager and staff, achieves a consensus forecast. So, ito po yun, judgmental forecast. Ito mainly is more on opinion and the consumer survey. Tignan natin kung ano ba yung ating operation, ano ba yung ating organization within that forecast, kung sa kaya tayo. So, yun, we based on opinion. Next, the time series forecast. We have the trend. It's a long-term movement in data. Seasonality. The short-term regular variations in data. The cycle. Wave-like variations of more than one year's duration. The irregular variations caused by unusual circumstances. And the random variations caused by chance. So, ito po yung sample nila. Ito po yung irregular variation. Ayun, makikita po natin. Nagkaroon po ng biglang pagtaas. Sa trend. The cycles. Okay, the waves. Continuous lang. Ulit lang. And then, the seasonal variation. Ayan po. Kita po natin yung biglang taas dito sa una. 90. And then, 89, 88. Ito ang ating naging forecast. So, the NAVE forecast, it is simple to use, virtually no cost, quick and easy to prepare, data analysis is non-existent, easily understandable, and cannot provide high accuracy and can be a standard for accuracy. So, this is the example. So, we have this period 1 to 3, the actual, we have first 50 and then 53. So, nagkaroon tayo ng change from previous value, which is nagkaroon tayo ng 3. So, we forecasted it na magkakaroon tayo ng 3 dito sa third period. So, 53 plus 3, ayan. Nag-forecast tayo ng 56 naman ang benta natin sa third period. So, we have this exponential smoothing. It's premise, the most recent observation might have the highest predictive value. Therefore, we should give more weight to the more recent time periods when forecasting. Doon na tayo magpapokus po sa recent time period. So, next we have this, the weighted averaging method based on previous forecast plus a percentage of the forecast error. Actual and forecast is the error term and A is the percentage feedback. 
We have this linear trend equation. Ft stands for forecast for period of the time. T stands for specified number of time periods. A is equals to value of forecast time plus at time is equals to zero. B is equals to slope of the line. Ito po yun. So, linear trend equation example. Ito po yun. So, week 1, we have 15. Week 2, and 55. The sales, we have 812. And that is the summation of T and time and the Y, which we give us 2,499. So, tingnan po natin yung calculation niya. For the B, which is, unahin po natin yung 2,499 times 5 give us 12,495. The 812 times 15 is equivalent to 12,180. So, 55 times 5 to 75, ito minus 225 yung given. So, pag minus natin, 12,495 minus 12,180 which give us 315 okay po so 275 minus 225 is 50 315 divided by 50 is 6.3 po so for the A or the error tingnan natin yung 812 po natin doon sa taas okay ayun siya minus po natin yung sagot natin sa B which is 6.3, okay, times 15, ito po unahin natin, 6.3 times 15 is equivalent to 94.5, and then 812 minus 94.5 is 717.5, divided by 5, this give us the answer of 143.5. Okay po. So, choosing a forecasting technique, Sabi po dito, no single technique works in every situation. Two most important factors, these are the cost and the accuracy. Other factors include the availability of historical data, computers, time needed to gather and analyze the data, and the forecast horizon. So, we have this forecast accuracy. Magkakaroon, pwede po tayo magkaroon ng error, that, which is the Difference between actual value and predicted value. We have this mean absolute deviation or the average absolute error. We have this mean squared error or MSE, the average of squared error. And the mean absolute percent error or MAPE, average absolute percent error. Ito po yung kanyang formula. Okay, the actual minus the forecast divided by N. Sa MSE, summation of actual minus forecast squared divided by the number minus 1. And the map is summation of actual forecast divided by the actual times 100 over divided by the number. So, ito po ay example na exponential smoothing. Kita po natin dito yung actual forecast. Ito po yung paggalaw niya sa taas. May blue and red color. The linear trend equation. Ito po yung example. We have this given the sa blue, the actual, the forecast, and the error. Ito po yun. So, the red line and the blue lines. Yung blue yun yung actual and then the red yun yung forecast. So, that's it. That's my report. Thank you and stay safe. Yan po, sir. Thank you po. Okay. So, to give you some additional inputs regarding the forecasting, of course. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, I'll try to check if I am my phone is online. <clears throat> Uh, as what our pre presenter mentioned, no, uh, there are some features of forecasting. No? So, involves future events. No? Forecasts are created uh, to predict the future or making them important for planning. 
actually a while ago uh, she she was also presented on how we'll be able to use the quantitative data no uh, the different formulas presented the process also presented no and of course that is based on past and present events no because <clears throat> Forecasts are based on opinions again, no intuition, guesses, as well as on as as well as on facts, no figures and other relevant data. Uh, all of the factors that go into creating a forecast reflect to some extent that ex that uh, extent what happened with the business in the past and what is considered likely to occur in the future. <clears throat> okay. Now, uh, the uses of forecasting techniques actually in most businesses, it uses a quantitative method, no? particularly in planning and budgeting. <clears throat> so the presenter already mentioned the process of a forecasting no? <clears throat> because forecasters need to follow a careful process in order to yield accurate results. No? So what 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 comes first, no? <clears throat> they need to do, to develop the basis of forecasting, no? <clears throat> because uh, in the first step, no, in the process is developing the base of investigation of the company's conditions and identifying where the business is currently positioned in the market. <clears throat> Number two, estimate the future operations of the business, no? <clears throat> Based on the investigations con conducted during the first step, the second part of the forecasting involves estimating the future conditions of the industry, no? Where the business operates and projecting and analyzing how the company will fare. Again, it start with your company. The next is the other in or the, or the industry. Now, for example, your industry is built in technology, so therefore that is the entire, no? Uh, within the technology era. <clears throat> Okay, then number three, of course, regulate the forecast. No? This involves looking at different forecasts in the past and comparing them with the actual things that happened with the business. <clears throat> the differences in previous results and current forecasts are analyzed and the reason for the deviations are considered. Then right after that, review the process. So every step is checked and refinements and modifications are made. <clears throat> As our presenter mentioned, no, we have sources of data for forecasting, either primary sources or secondary sources. When we say primary, uh, information from primary sources takes time to gather because it is first-hand information. Again, when we say primary, first-hand information and also considered as the most reliable and trustworthy source sort of information. The forecaster himself does the collection and may do so through things such as interviews, questionnaires and focus groups <clears throat> now the secondary sources of course is this uh the secondary sources supply information that has been collected and published by other entities so an example of this type of information might be industry reports <clears throat> as this information that has already been compiled and analyzed and it makes the process quicker okay so i think that's it for the forecasting